All right, so I am Shelby Rodriguez, the Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the College of Business, and this is a major discussion of information systems and analysis. And our goal here today is just to answer a few questions that you may have um, related to um, MIS um, or anything of that nature. And so our guest for today is Dr. Kukoli Vandio Patier, or we like to call her Dr. B. Dr. B is the department chair um, and professor for information systems and analysis. So basically Dr. B oversees that department as a whole. And also joining us is Talia Polanco, who is the admissions counselor. And Talia is gonna be here um, just filling your admissions questions if you have any. And just so you guys know, for your privacy, we have your videos um, turned off and your mics are muted. Um, and you can always unmute your mic if you have a question, if you feel comfortable, or if you notice at the bottom of your screen, um, we have a chat button available. You can ask a few questions in the chat and either myself or Dr. B will um, gladly answer your questions. We are recording the session for posting on our website and uh, the recording will be closed captioned. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna turn it over to you, Dr. B. Hi. Hi all, this is Dr. B and I chair the Department of Information Systems and Analysis and I will tell you about management information systems today. Okay, so let me share my slides and I will continue from there. So we start with who are we? Management information systems is the use of technology to solve business problems. We are in the college of business. So remember that we solve business problems. We are also at the top of the food chain. We are information engineers and innovators. We receive, store, process, and disseminate information. Are we in demand? Before you want to know anything else about MIS, Yes, we are. Our graduates have been recruited by Total Petrochemical, ExxonMobil, BASF, Invista, Goodyear, Valero, uh, you name it, Chevron Services, Reliant Energy, Entergy, Facebook, Hewlett Packard, Apple, Lockheed Martin, all the famous companies have recruited from us. What do we offer? We offer a uh, Bachelor of Business Administration in MIS. We offer a minor in MIS. We also offer a graduate degree, Master of Science in MIS. Our curriculum is very broad and it covers all aspects of management information system. So if you want to know the current technologies and how to build them and how would they look like in the future, you can take courses in information systems uh, infrastructure. You can take course in e-commerce design and development. If you want to know how the businesses handle their processes with technologies, you can take enterprise resource planning overview class. You can take a enterprise resource planning e-commerce class. You can also take a CRM, customer relationship management class. If you want to know the blueprint or the structure of a system, you can take an information systems analysis and design class. You can take an IS development class. We have a project management and practice class. We also have a graduate uh, project management class. If you want to know how to write an app and become a young entrepreneur, you can take courses on Java, Java development, visual basic development, we also have an intro to programming for business solutions class. If you really want to be wise and know the future, we can give you a crystal ball. You can take courses in database management systems. You can take courses in business intelligence, data mining, predictive analytics, managerial decision making. All these courses are there in our inventory, which we offer on a timely basis. And if you want to be a protector, we will train you and we will give you the weapon. 
you can take courses in information assurance and security and cyber security management so you can see that our mis curriculum is very broad and it covers various aspects of business and technology we are also a very software intensive hands on program 80 to 85% of our classes are hands on so we teach a variety of software we code a little we don't code much we do code but we don't code a lot but we use a lot of commercially full blown application software we use sap sap is a enterprise resource planning software it has the highest market share in the world and we use sap in our curriculum we also use oracle database we use primavera p6 for project management for data visualization we use tableau we also use advanced excel and access for data mining and database we use visual studio we use uh, sas visual analytics and we also use salesforce for uh, customer relationship management so we are a very software intensive hands on program how do we place our students our students are very gainfully employed once they graduate from our program they find employment very pretty easily and that to uh, gainfully so how do we place our students we network our faculty we network with industry we also get assistance from our former students through our groups we have a facebook group mis lamar we also have a linkedin group and we in each group we have more than 500 of our former students and they help our uh, current students to get employed in their organization we also have a career center at lamar and they also actively network with industry to place our students i would also like to mention about our faculty 90% of our full time faculty have phd in information systems and phd is the highest degree that you can get and so our faculty they are very well trained and knowledgeable with substantial research in information systems uh, i am open to questions now so if you have any questions or oh, before i go for questions i would also like to mention about the certification that you can get if you take three courses with sap in it we can we generally give you a sap award which tells your prospective employers that you have 75 hours of hands on sap experience while you were taking the courses the college of business within the management information systems program we also offer sap ts 14 uh, certification from the college of business okay so if you have any questions i'm open to that Dr. B, how will a student know if management information systems is the right fit for them? Okay, uh, many students do not want to code for the rest of their lives, but they are interested in application software. They are interested in technology. So, management information systems is the right place for those who are. interested in business and technology so this is our strength that we know both business and technology and all, another thing is very important the those who are dynamic and flexible this is also a field for them because we change every day you know the field of information systems as new technology comes up we change so if you take my example the things that i learned in school when i graduated none of the software is in demand anymore they are all dead and obsolete so i have updated myself so if you are dynamic if you are flexible if you know that you will update yourself from time to time this is the place for you and of course you have to have an interest in technology and business because we are situated in the college of business we use application software our main target is to help companies perform better because you know if the companies they cannot get an edge over others if they cannot outperform others they will not be in business and we help them 
to outperform others by the use of technology uh, to perform better, to do things easier, faster, better. I really like that you mentioned the um, strong alumni network that we have. That's super important, especially when it comes for our students and our graduates to um, get employment once they leave the university. Um, aside from our strong alumni network, Dr. B did touch on, we have our career center. We have our career and professional development center located within the College of Business, within the Galloway Business Building. And so um, it's a, a vital resource for all of our students, our alumni, um, you can also contact alumni through um, the Career and Professional Development Center if you need help with the resume, if you need um, any sort of professional development tips, trainings, any of those, um, they can definitely um, help you out in that department. Dr. B, can you tell everyone what is the environment like um, within the classrooms? Generally, uh, all information systems classes are lab-based. So we sit in a uh, classroom with labs, with computers in it, and we do a lot of group work. So we have semester long group projects, we have hands-on assignments in class. We also uh, do part lecture and part group so that we lecture for uh, say 10 to 15 minutes the concept, and then you are asked to sit in a group and do the application part of it. Uh, so I would say that um, we generally encourage students to network with even peers, you know, because uh, this kind of discipline, you will never work on your own. You always have to work with a group. And your uh, success is also part of the success from the group. If you, so it is very important that you can motivate your peers also uh, so that the group result is important. You can do very well, but if your group members are not participating as well as you are, um, you cannot move further. So it is very important to have interpersonal relationship and also uh, network with your peers and we encourage that. I would not let a student sit at the corner of the room all by herself or himself. I would call that person in and I'll say sit with a group because you have to work with it group all the time. So this is our profession. Uh, very rarely you will work on your own. You always have to work with a group. So I would say that it's a very friendly atmosphere. Uh, even if you are a shy person, at the end of the first two weeks, you will be mixing with others because that's how we operate. That's how we design our assignments also to make you feel comfortable in the classroom. That's right. And then just listening to Dr. B describe the classroom environment, you can really get a feel for um, the dynamic between the students and the faculty. Um, Dr. B is super helpful, always willing to go above and beyond for her students, just like all of our faculty within the college. And so um, our faculty offices are located within the business building. So as soon as you leave from, from class, you can head right on over to um, your professor's office for their office hours and get that extra help if you need it. Um, they're always there and always available for you. And then not just faculty, we have student organizations, of course, within the College of Business. And for management information systems, we have um, AIS, which is the Association for Information Systems. It's the student chapter here at Lamar University. And so um, it's also to provide students with networking opportunities to encourage um, information systems excellence within the university. So. We have all those different resources available for all of you guys. And aside from that, we also have a um, Center for Student Success within the College of Business. And so that houses our advisor and our Cardinal coach. Um, our Cardinal coach is there to really assist all of our business students if they have a need, whether it be financial, technical, anything of that nature. If you're feeling a little flustered behind a course, I know I certainly did when I was in college several times. Um, if you're feeling flustered, that's what your cardinal coach is there for, um, to kind of talk you off the ledge and kind of say, hey, what's going on? I see you've missed class a few times. Is there anything that you need from us? And your advisor as well, um, you know, your advisor is there to assist you if you, you know, are feeling uncomfortable in the course. Hey, I think this is a little too advanced for me. Can we take a look at some other courses for me? That's what your advisor is also there for. So we have all of those resources um, available for you guys. Yeah, also I would like to mention that 
uh, we always try to provide you with uh, part-time jobs and internship in the IT field. Uh, Lamar has a central IT. They also hire our students. And uh, there are also several companies uh, in Beaumont that would hire our students for any internship or part-time jobs while you are a student uh, in the program. So that helps, you know, having a, in the resume a part-time experience or an internship really helps. And we try our best with our own connections to give you that opportunity while you are a student here. Yes. Dr. B, did you touch on um, where our students have interned? I know you touched on um, where they work and their careers, but have you touched on the type of internships that our students can get? You, you mean the companies they work? Yes. Um, the city of Beaumont, they, take, uh, inter they offer internship for working students. Uh, for, I mean, uh, MIA students, then we have uh, central IT at Lamar. Lamar has many positions. LIT takes our students, you know. Um, there are other companies around. Um, I just can't uh, remember from the top of my, like Dragon Software. Uh, there are many other small, smaller companies in Beaumont that would offer you. And they generally come either through the career center or they come directly to me also because most of them are my former students. So whenever they have an opening, that, that is the advantage I have. Most of them are my former students. So whenever they have an opening, they come to me first. And so I post, I take that uh, opportunity and forward that opportunity to my students who are all in the MIS Lamar group. So when you join information systems, we ask you to be in one of the groups, you know, either LinkedIn or Facebook, depending on where you have where you are more comfortable and then uh, that information will be uh, given to you and you get that opportunity to join. So this is how we operate. So I have this advantage of having so many students over the years okay. and uh, generally when they are recruiting, they let me know. Yeah. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. B, but if a student is a good problem solver, if they like to build a bridge between technology and business, and um, if they love working with computers, management information systems would be perfect for them. Exactly, exactly. Because um, main thing is that we are solving business problems. That is the greater picture, that we are solving business problems. We are, the big picture is we are helping companies perform better. That's our big picture. So how are we doing that? We are doing that with the help of technology. So do we code? Yes, we do, but we don't code as much as the computer science guys code. We code a little less than them, but we use application software. We, as I have listed, we use Oracle database, we use Access database, we use uh, SAP, which is a enterprise resource planning software. SAP links seamlessly different departments within a business. So that's a huge software, it's a million dollar software and we use that software, we teach our students how to use that software. That is really our core competency. And uh, we uh, teach all different modules of SAP, we use, we are heavy in data analytics also. So we do a lot of data analytics with SAP business objects, with SAP business information warehouse, with Tableau, with SAS visual analytics. So when you graduate from MIS, you will be some kind of analyst. You can be a data analyst, you can be a business analyst, or you can be an IT analyst, uh, so, or a systems analyst. So all analyst jobs are for management information systems graduates. And students can get an advanced degree in management information systems, right? Yeah. Yes. So once you complete your BBA, um, generally job is available so you can go for the jobs or you may stay back and spend another year and get your MBA or even a master's degree in MIS, whatever you choose. You can get your MBA degree, MBA is portable, you have information on, you have knowledge on different disciplines of business or you can, uh, if you are more focused, more specialized, you can do a Master of Science in Management Information Systems, which we also offer. You can also do a double degree, which is uh, many 
people they do suppose you are interested in really interested in accounting but then uh, mis is a support discipline accounting and information systems or marketing and information systems management finance they all go hand in hand with information systems so you can take six more courses and you can get a double degree also that is also possible uh, many times the students will get five more classes and will get a minor in mis because that also helps because we are a dis uh, support discipline any information you have on data analytics or systems analysis that really adds to your resume that gives you a boost in jo job searching and right now dr b we're uh due to the COVID 19 pandemic we're currently waiving the gre and gmat uh for the yeah. mba and ms mis applicants correct yeah, yeah. so right now because of the pandemic if you have a gpa of 2.5 you can come in as a graduate student. Yes. Did anyone have any questions? We would love to take questions at this time. Dr. B currently has her uh, slide up with our contact information for both she and I. So if any of you have any questions outside of this session, as we said, it will be posted online at lamar.edu slash visit. But if anyone has any um, questions outside of this session, you can always feel free to reach out to Dr. B or myself. And of course, um, visit lamar.edu slash business. Dr. B, uh, can you speak on any sort of events that you guys kind of do within um, your department. Tell me again. Can you speak oh, on any events? sort of events yeah. that you guys may yeah. do? We, we do have an Explore MIS session. Uh, in the Explore MIS session, we uh, talk about our uh, department in detail. We talk about the courses. We talk about the jobs. We also bring in a guest speaker who is one of our former students. So, you know, when we tell us faculty, generally students, don't pay enough attention but when you hear from one of the former students then you really understand where we stay, where we are so we bring in a former student and uh, every semester we do it once uh, so someone from a company like say for example we have many students working for Hewlett Packard or Facebook or Apple you name it we have our students there or ExxonMobil so we will invite one of them they would come and talk to you about their life after Lamar um, and how MIS has helped them to perform their job duties. Also, we have an association of information systems and they do a lot of fun events also. Plus, they also go for industry visit. So once a semester, they would go and visit, say, HP or whatever. Generally, they have been going to Houston. And Houston is a pretty good place for MIS jobs. Uh, it, it is booming technology job wise. Then Austin, Austin, we call it um, the you know Silicon Valley of Texas. Lots of jobs are available in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So yes, we do a lot of events through the Association of Information Systems, and we also go out for visiting um, you know different companies and fun events too. And not just on campus, we do have our study abroad programs within the College of Business. I know um, we've traveled to China, Argentina, Costa Rica, Spain. Yes. Semester exchange program in France. So we do have those opportunities available abroad as well. You'll get that opportunity to travel and visit a company and see, um, I guess, the inside scoop on how things are done. So we do have those opportunities. We also have scholarships available for those students who are wanting yes. to travel abroad as well. Yes, MIS students also can take that global enrichment class and uh, study abroad, and they get a lot of scholarship money available also for that. Yes. And I like that Dr. B mentioned that um, she has guest speakers within those management information systems courses because Within the College of Business, we have our Michael G. Weinard um, Entrepreneurial Lecture Series. And so we do that a couple times a semester, at least three to five times a semester. Um, and we'll invite 
an alumni in to speak to our business students as a whole. They may be um, a finance major, uh, NIS, any, any of our uh, programs. And so they'll come and talk to our students and let them know what employers are looking for at this time, um, give them tips, professional development tips, those sorts of things. Um, so we do have all of those things available. Yeah, and it's also a very good opportunity for students to network with people from industry because when yes. the former student comes in, you get an opportunity to talk to them directly. So that is also a plus point. Yes. Does anyone have any questions for us at this time? Again, I just want to remind you guys, we do have the chat button right at the bottom. You can click there and type in your questions as you see fit, or if you feel comfortable, you can unmute your mic. Okay, Dr. B, did you have any more tidbits about the uh, information systems and analysis department? I can only say good things about it. The future is good because lots of jobs are available. Uh, think of the billions of records of data, the companies they store. Think of Walmart. Think of all the items that you purchase in the transaction uh, counter. So data analytics is very hot. 90% of the companies have said that they need people for analytics and are heavy on data analytics. So I think that the future is very bright. Companies have created so much data. They keep creating so much data, they need somebody to be able to handle that data. So as long as we have businesses, we have data, we have data analytics, and we have demands for MIS graduates. So I think the future is very bright. And we, as a department, we are very careful in updating ourselves so that that is the reason we also keep in touch with all our former students so that we don't teach anything that is dated. So we are a very up-to-date department. So we have uh, the most recent current version of the software we teach, and we don't teach anything that is dated and not usable. So we want to make sure that we offer the best and the current most technology to our students to help businesses perform better. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, again, Dr. B has left our contact information right there on the slide, um, but you can also visit lamar.edu slash business if you need to contact us again or if you need any more information about the college business as a whole. Um, I want to thank Dr. B for joining us today. I want to thank you, and Talia, thank you guys for joining us and thank you guys who are out there watching. I know we can't be there in person, but thank you so much for attending. Um, and so if you need to contact your admissions coach, you can also visit lamar.edu and at the right, um, top right corner, there'll be a search box. You can just type in admissions and it'll direct you to be able to locate your admissions coach. And so if you guys have no further questions, we want to thank you again for being here and we hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you.